Don't you hate it when you just summarize the year's gaming news, but then more comes out before the new year? I don't. If there's no gaming news, I have no job. Almost a year after the lapsus hack of Rockstar, more data, including the source code for Grand Theft Auto V, was leaked on December 25th. Now that's a pro-level strat for staying on Santa's nice list. Just wait, and then on Christmas you do all your crimes, you already got your presents. Done. You can't get till next year. <laughs> exactly. Since then, reports have come out as to why it took so long after Rockstar was hacked for the source code to drop. According to unverified allegations and DMs, the leaker was part of a group that bought the source code for $2,000. Allegedly, the leaker tried and failed to sell the code for smaller and smaller amounts of money before just leaking it out of spite. None of you want it? What, no, none of you want? Fine, have it for free. <laughs> While that story isn't confirmed, we can confirm that eight separate DLCs were planned for Grand Theft Auto V. These included a possible prologue expansion and perhaps even a return to Liberty City. But we never got any of that because Rockstar was too busy. According to director of design Imran Sawar, while the studio was giving GTA V the next-gen treatment and making Red Dead Redemption 2, it also had to deal with the runaway success of GTA Online. Sure, we didn't get any single-player expansions, but you can shoot your friends off their flying motorcycles with guided missiles. I mean, what more do you need? That's a Saturday night for me. If I had friends. I, had, yeah, I used to have friends, but then I shot them all off <laughs> their motorcycles with guys. And missions. suddenly they won't talk to me. <laughs> Steam just unveiled the platform's 100 highest grossing games of the year, and there are some surprising entries. While the published list doesn't reveal any real numbers, it does sort titles into one of four tiers based on gross revenue. Bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. Oh, just like the Olympics. I assume they're gonna add platinum when AI takes over. That's gonna be the one that humanity can achieve. Uh, platinum is what you get when you dope. <laughs> <laughs> one game we didn't expect to chart as well as it did was Destiny 2, which is sitting in the platinum tier with Call of Duty, Baldur's Gate 3, and Hogwarts Legacy. Yet somehow this game that is one of the top 12 highest grossing games on Steam missed its revenue projections by 45% earlier this year. This led to the infamous layoffs at the company that gutted the community support team right before Destiny 2 received a nomination for best community support at the Game Awards. And while Bungie executives allegedly made those cuts because Sony would take their jobs if they didn't financially perform, according to Paul Tassi of Forbes, those same executives made those wildly inaccurate revenue estimates to Sony. So they kind of dug their own grave there. You know, it's difficult to sympathize with people who threw 100 of their employees under the bus, and it's even harder to sympathize after you find out those people also told the bus driver when and where to be that day. Escape from Tarkov has received a 0.14 update that included a wipe to reset everyone's stats and level the playing field. There's never been a better time to jump into this seven-year-old unfinished game. One big change is the much-anticipated Ground Zero map that higher level PMCs, one of the two types of playable characters in Tarkov, can't access. However, the other type of character, Scavs, can access Ground Zero at any level. Scavs are generally penalized for trying to kill other players, so hopefully there won't be too much griefing, but I mean, this is Tarkov. There are other welcome changes to the game as well. You can now run and hide more easily thanks to the ability to vault over knee-high walls. You know, the horizon gets legs, they get vault. <laughs> Plus, the game is also getting strong rebalancing. Muzzle devices like suppressors have been completely reworked, and so have the game's armor and hitbox systems. Even better, a new boss has been added named Kolontai. Kolontai? Whatever it's pronounced. <laughs> he should be a great change of pace from my usual boss fight against XXX Bong Snipe 69. Forget Tarkov. I've been trying to escape from him for years. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Dbrand and their new X-Ray skins that are easy to install and remove with no adhesive revenue. Perfect for tall, handsome people like me who suck at stickers. These aren't stock images or stolen assets, by the way. Dbrand literally hauled a bunch of phones, laptops, game consoles to a specialized metrology lab to get ultra-authentic scans that have been faithfully reproduced with high-quality prints, meaning even the finest details are on full display. X-Ray skins come in both light and dark mode variants, but for a limited time, Dbrand is offering you both for the price of one. If you want to make that deal even sweeter, just head over to mybossesveryshort.com and enter the code GAMELINKED to get 10% off your entire purchase. If you want to survive these quick bits, listen very carefully.
They can't hurt you, they're just little stories. Like, what do you think? Oh my god! Nintendo has updated its list of the most downloaded Switch games in Japan. While Tears of the Kingdom took the top spot in the first half of the year, its crown has been stolen by Suica Game, a short $3 puzzle game where you combine fruits to evolve them into watermelons. And I get it. Sometimes spending hours saving Hyrule from Evil Incarnate loses its luster when you keep sitting on the toilet long enough for your legs to go numb. Forget Ganondorf, I just want to walk after pooping! Ubisoft successfully stopped hackers from making off with 900 gigabytes of data, according to security collective VX Underground, an unknown threat actor got access to internal tools last week and shared screenshots online, but after just 48 hours, the individual's access was revoked. Ubisoft gave a small statement saying they are aware of the incident and are investigating. They probably want to figure out how they achieved success and if they can possibly do it again in the future. If only we could do this with video games. <laughs> how do we do this uh, twice? <laughs> From Software, creators of several strangely compelling frustration simulators will be shutting down the online servers for PS3 and Xbox 360 versions of Dark Souls 2 in March of next year. Dark Souls 2, one of the studio's most beloved wall punch instigators, will be playable as a standalone game, but players of the original console editions will no longer have access to key multiplayer features like summoning another player to help you take down a hard boss or finding a message from a complete stranger that reads, Try charging but whole. Try jumping. Tekken 8 officially revealed the return of a fan favorite fighter, a literal bear named Kuma, a Japanese word meaning bear. Technically, this is Kuma the second, named after his father, Kuma, who is also a bear. Kuma's reveal trailer showed him proposing to, then fighting his love interest slash rival, Panda, who is a panda, and thus, a kind of bear. During the fight, Kuma is shown using the Wind God Fist, a restricted move that he may have been taught by franchise villain Heihachi Mishima, who is not a bear, at least not in the literal sense. Now, Jessica, you wrote this quick bit. What does it mean to be a bear in a metaphorical sense? <laughs> I don't know what you expect of me here. And somebody on the internet is selling buggy D-pads. And by buggy, I mean they're studded with literal insects. Deck Buttons is selling hand-polished resin cast D-pads for Steam Decks featuring real-life dead creepy crawlies, which they reassure potential buyers were respectfully collected after natural passing from serene settings like windowsills and spider webs. There's nothing more respectful than stealing a spider's lunch and making it into gamer bling. Not even just gamer bling, inedible gamer bling. I bet like five of you are excited and the rest are viscerally disgusted. <laughs> There's like 15 people who are like, oh, oh, and then someone's just like, where do I sign? <laughs> and I'll respectfully ask you to come back next Tuesday for more Game Light. I promise we won't make you use the buggy controller. You're not my little brother, unless you want to be. <laughs>